by 2050, the world's population is going to increase by uh, probably multiple billion people. And people are starving already. And so we have to do this. We have to produce food, more food and more healthy food. And we have no other choice. We have to go forward with this. GIFTS is here to develop and contribute technology to improve agriculture and feed the world. We're in the Global Institute of Food Security and what we're working on is technology to enable humanity to, um, to utilize and exploit naturally occurring variation in plants to our advantage. And so what we do is we go into natural populations and we sample different individual plants from these natural populations and what we do is we analyze these plants for ones that are reproduced sexually versus ones that reproduce asexually and the plants look exactly the same the difference really is in how these things are producing their egg cells and we use very high powered molecular genetic techniques to really get down and understand what genes are being expressed in the sexual egg cells versus the asexual egg cells now why are we doing that we're doing that because we're interested in making crop plants asexual and the implications of this research are it's, it's, it's incredible. It would, it, would, it would completely change agricultural practices. Crops could be bred for, you know, east sides of mountains, west sides of mountains, or, you know, anything you wanted to. I've been running this research program in Germany for the last 10 years and have assembled a wonderful group, a real good team of people. I'm originally from Montreal and moved to Germany in 1995 and my crew is completely multinational. So I have people from different countries in Europe. I've had so people from Spain, from Italy, from Poland, from France, and the ball is rolling and I wanna keep that team of people together um, because we're, uh, we're, we're just rocking right now. Saskatoon is an amazing place to be if you're in this field, you know, the field of agriculture. All of the companies are here. The university is just an amazing environment. I mean, there's a number of institutes on campus and there's a very strong history of agricultural research here. So my group and I are incredibly grateful for the opportunity provided to us by Potash Corp, the University of Saskatchewan and the government of Saskatchewan. It's just wonderful. We can, you know, we're, we're able to plan forwards um, and think about things and, you know, s solving or trying to crack this nut on a much longer term than we could have ever dreamed of before.